I have no idea why, but the sight of seeing one of my little fur kitties Oh, you don't want me to stop? Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh. Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas. Oh, baby. Oh. Okay, time to get started. Well, I've been working. About to go back to work. But I had to show you the mozzie. And the best way to get your babies to snuggle together is to make them share an electric blanket. <laughs> oh. Oh. I just shouldn't... <laughs> Little dog. Why? Oh, he's so content. I have to tell you, that is one happy dog. He is. <laughs> I, seriously. Oh, Yasmin, your warm spot turned off. Mommy, you turn it on. I'll turn it on. I'll turn it on. Oh, little dog. Oh, goodness. Goodness. I know. He is doing better, though. He's only coughing, you know, once or twice a day instead of constantly. So that's good. Buddy toys and chewings and everything all over the floor. <laughs> this is incorrect. So let's change this. Thursday. The, oh, little dog. 14. And 37. There we go. Heater is on. Well, fireplace is on. Y'all, it's going to be so hard for me to take this down because I just love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Um, today, I need to vacuum. I'm going to show you my, my, my unmakeup face. Oh, my goodness. Um, I'm going to vacuum. I have a haul, a couple hauls <laughs> to show you. Um... This morning I ordered a hair dryer for Europe. Um, I ordered two actually so that I could try them out um, from Amazon so I can return them. But I don't wanna try them, try them because I don't want them not to be able to resell them. Does that make sense? Really what I wanna do is turn it on and let it run for like 15 minutes, four or five different times to make sure it's good. You know what I mean? So it doesn't blow up on me or <laughs> anything like that. So there's that. And um, I've had a headache for two days now. This is the second day. It's back again. I don't know what I'm going to do about these headaches, you guys. They need to stop because they are literally consuming my life. This is what happened when my gluten allergy got really bad. And I'm wondering if I'm eating something that is... I mean, I thought it was my pillows. It does feel like it's coming up from my neck. I don't, I don't honestly know what it is. And it's really, it's driving me crazy because I feel bad so much of the time and I don't want to feel bad. Anyway, um, I'm waiting to go to the doctor until January because you know, you don't want to hit your deductible at the end of the year and then have to hit it again you know my manicurist order came in today and an ulta order came in today um ulta had 20 percent off and i had built up my points from the year so i went ahead and purchased it doesn't make sense to do the 20 percent off and use your points but the 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 point was i wanted to spend as little as possible so i just saved up and got this um 
got these items because I am looking for a new, I bought a hair dryer, two of them for Europe. That's completely different. I am looking for a new um, hair dryer like my Revlon. Y'all, I have to replace my Revlon once every three or four months because the bristles on it flatten out and then it no longer grips my hair. And that just feels like such a waste. Um, I wait till they go on sale and when they do, I buy like two or three of them because if I can get them around $30 or so. And then um, we do have recycling here for electronics. So I do take it in for electronic recycling. How much of it can they recycle? I don't know, but I'm really tired of buying hair dryers. I really am. Um, the air wrap is great. I think I've already gone over like my thoughts on the Dyson. Um, but I have purchased so many of those. Rev I'm just tired of it. So I bought the shark one from Ulta. I bought the T3 one from Ulta and I'm going to try those two out. The T3 I've already tried out and it's okay. It's okay for a different purpose. Like it works well, but it doesn't, it doesn't work as well as the Revlon. Um, but I got such a great price on it. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. It'll work. It works. It's fine. It's not my favorite, but it works. It pulls my hair a little bit. Um, and then um, I'm going to try this shark one out. So I don't need to wash my hair today, so I'm not going to try it today, but maybe tomorrow. Anyway, but I'm going to show you the things I got in my Ulta haul and I'm rambling on and on and it's taking too long. So I will be back and I will show you those things in the haul and then we will do Advent and then um, I have to work a lot today. I finished Regal Princess editing yesterday. Today I need to get them uploaded. I need to do the thumbnails, the description boxes, and then they will be scheduled and ready to go and I can be done with Regal Princess. I am so ready to be done editing those vlogs. I really enjoy the cruise. But what happens is I get bored editing it because it's so long and the, it expands so much time. Oh, so, um, I get tired of editing it. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm ready for something new. So then I prefer to edit Vlogmas over Regal Princess. <laughs> anyway, um, so yes, so I need to be prepared that Europe, I may get a little bored editing Sun Princess, but it is a brand new ship and I don't know, we'll have to see. I have no idea how I'm gonna film that because I wanna make sure I provide enough information for people who are looking to sail that ship for the first time, you know, because it's a completely new concept for Princess. But then again, I don't wanna put so much information in that it's a boring vlog. It's such a hard, Thing to edit and get it right for the majority of the people because then you get those people who are niche and they want very specific things and or they don't like all the information and I'm like well I'm sorry I can't just edit a video just for you <laughs> so I have to go with what the majority is so anyway we'll get there we'll get there I'm already stressing about it seriously Ugh. oh it's not too bad in the hallway not too bad not too bad I have buddy's sweater up there that I had to wash after school because it's was there stinky <laughs> so anyway all right i'm gonna go get back to work and then i'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna do um the hauls and then we're gonna do advent and um i want to get all of this done today all of it done so that tomorrow i can bake i'm ready to bake I'm ready to bake mm -hmm. and i'm gonna be starting a challenge i have not been working out I need to work out. My body is screaming for me to work out. It's like my anxiety and, and stress go up when I'm not expelling that energy that I need. It also helps clear my head. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's I don't want to call it a runner's high because that's not what it is for me, but it's just, it's, oh, it makes me feel so much better. So anyway, um, yeah. Okay, enough, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> hey little boy, let's come have your medicine. You ready? You wanna come up here with mommy? You want mommy to do it there? Ugh, it's crooked, that's all right. You guys sniff it? I always let him sniff, so he knows what's happening. I mean, you don't want a doctor or somebody coming at you, shoving stuff in your ear without telling you what the heck they're putting in your ear. Put this in my pot, that's a good boy. All right, you ready? 
You sniff it good. All right, you know what it is. All right, let's go. Gotta be still, gotta be still. Oh, oh, it's yucky. I don't like it. Oh, it does, it does. I know, I know you hate it. I know. Oh, but it helps. Helps you feel better. There. I know, I know. He has a follow up tomorrow at the doctor. I get this out of my pocket. Um, we have to do the cleaning today, to clean it out today. And then he'll have two more doses before he goes to the doctor tomorrow. So, hopefully he's on the mend. Ear infections are tricky to that direction because you're on the little tripod. Ear infections are tricky. Now it's time to feed the babies and um, give little dog his medicine. And um, then we'll go and unbox or open my um, hauls, hauls, the things that I got in. I am absolutely freezing, freezing. Um, I couldn't get my, and it's not like it's that, it's in the 60s outside. This happens, this happen to you. Sometimes I just get so cold and I can't warm up. And I don't know what that is. Like I get freezing cold, teeth chatteringly, painfully cold. <laughs> I don't understand Shaper Mint. Um, I tried their something from Shaper Mint, and obviously, since I can't remember, I didn't like it that much. So I'm gonna give Little Dog his medicine and feed everybody, and then I will meet you in my office. Real quick, these two from Trader Joe. I'm gonna go get some more. I love them both. I love them. So nice and smooth, there's none of that bitterness. It's like naturally sweet, but there's no sugar, I hope. They are so delicious. If you have a Trader Joe, go, get them. Highly recommend. Okay, since I've already got you up high, let's do the Advents and then we'll do the haul. We don't have very many Advents, um, so <laughs> no sir. The litter box is down here, freshly scooped, so it's kind of, out of, uh, it, not in its spot. Anyway, I put my jojoba oil in my bathroom yesterday. Oh, I thought my battery light was flashing and I just changed it. Okay, so here is one of the days. This is day 11 on our coffee calendar, which it's not day 11. This is Bear Claws, Bear Claws, get it? See, very cute. This is from Seattle. Ooh, oh, here we go. Seattle, you wanted to sniff too? I will let you sniff, you know that. This is Kuma coffee. Tastes like spice cake, apple pie, hot cocoa, and caramel. Little dog, don't be fussy. Boo Bear, remember to respect his boundaries. Come, come, leave it, and we'll see how this goes. Make sure to leave out cookies, uh, leave out cookies a mug. That makes no sense. Make sure to leave out cookies, a mug for when Bear Claws comes down the chimney. No coal here. This Guatemala and Kenya blend is sweet and lush. Each sip is bright and buttery like apple pie with a soft spiced cake and hot cocoa finish. Excellent. I heard you, Brucey. So there you go. That's that. I have so many of these I haven't brewed yet. Um, I need to. I'll get to them. Obviously it's coffee. They're not gonna go to waste. Okay, my favorite, my absolute favorite, Chalk Zero. My order hasn't come in yet. Um, it has, I think, shipped, but I don't know yet. Uh, I think we're on day 14, 15 of this one, 15? I think we're on day 15. So we're gonna catch up on the days that I'm filming to when they air this week because Da, 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 da. I finished Regal Princess today. Yay! So exciting. I edited for like 10 hours yesterday. <laughs> oh, he's a gold Santa. He's the gold standard Santa. There you go. So he's very tasty and very cute, and we will take care of the snail soon. You'll see. Okay, and my tea advent. What are you looking at, little baby boy? Hmm? 
What are you looking at, precious angel? Let's see. Little dog. Little dog. He's so cute. He's, no, sir. Oh, he just put the whole calendar right in his mouth. Did y'all see that? I don't know. Tricky when Bruce and Buddy are in the same room. Bruce? Bruce lets Buddy get close. He gets close to Buddy. It's when Buddy gets hyper that Bruce is like, I am not having this. I do not appreciate your hyperness. Ooh, Big Ben. English blend. Blend of Assam and Yunnan and Yunnan. Yunnan black teas. I love black tea. I've told you this before, so I'm sure I will enjoy this. Is it 15? 13, 4, 15. Oh, my hands are so cold. Ooh, another soap. Oh, nice. Okay, so now I have one for Virgin and one for Regal Princess. This one is Extra Gentle Soap um, from Luxiton. I'm sure it'll be lovely and I bet it will smell fantastic. And this is the kind I don't mind using on my face too. There it goes. No, nope, there it goes. So, I can smell it. Uh, I, I just love Luxiton. The scents are, the scents are so good. This is kind of like, this smells like a baby. Not baby powder, not baby lotion. Not a, it just smells like a baby. Sweet and soft and gentle. That's it. Now let's whip you around and then I'll show you what I got. This one over here, rooting around. Oh, I whacked him in the face. Rooting around in the boxes. Are you curious too? Are you curious too? Okay, so, hi little dog. Come on, you can come up here. Come on, come on. You can come up. Come on, I know. It's getting harder for him to jump. Okay, so, here is the one I was telling you about. This is the shark, yeah, the shark smooth style. I'm gonna try this one. I've tried the T3. Uh, if you have fine hair or thinner hair or not so coarse hair, I think the T3 would be great for you, but it's really expensive. Um, and with that type of hair, I think the Revlon will last you a lot longer than my thick, coarse, heavy hair lets it last. Does that make sense? Were you digging for souvenirs? You can't have that. So I'll let you know how I like this. I'll leave it linked. Like I said, Ulta had the sale. I had points. So I picked this up, um, we'll see about that. This is the second one of these I have purchased. This is the Clinique My Happy. Come here, come on, I know you, you all. He is, he is a toddler. He has to be <laughs> in my face, in, in my business, helping. You, you have to taste it. He wants to sniff everything and taste everything. <laughs> You are so cute. I love you so much, but now it's time to sit down. It's time to sit down. Hey, come on, little boy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you weigh so much. It's so heavy. Okay, this is, what is this one? Baby bouquet. There's also a peony one. I like the peony. I love the baby bouquet. This, I always say do sun. It's do sun. Diptyque do sun. The, shh, the most beautiful fragrance of all time. Gucci Bloom is right there with it. This is like a combo of the two. I love this. Now, sir, do you see this? Oh, you can't see him. His little face is off screen. Sir, no. No, hey, boo bit. Little dog. Shh, 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 shh. Hey, hey, come on. That's enough. You don't have to be bump grumpy. No, no. You don't have to be. Look, your tag's sticking out. Oh, goodness. Good, come sit down. Come sit down behind mommy. Little boo bear. Boundaries. Okay. I'm so sorry. This is very distracting. I know. But this is my life. I have children. They may have fur and four legs and four paws, but they are my children. <laughs> they need to be watched like toddlers. Okay, as I was saying, 
This is the best stuff. I love it. I do have to put a, I use the Luxaton almond oil or um, any kind of oil on my skin. I rub it in really, really nice. Let it sit for a few minutes and then I spray this and it will last. Otherwise, this doesn't last on me. Nothing does. Not Gucci Bloom, not anything except for the very first Dosun fragrance that I bought. And I have the bottle saved because I've gone through it. And I, I can't remember if it's an Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum. <laughs> Don't let my French, uh, you know, impress you too much. Um, I don't know which one it is. I need to look and see, but it's probably not something I will ever get to buy again. So, shh. So, I'm trying to find something that's a dupe because it's really expensive. You're going to have to go outside. Not outside the house. I, we don't fit them outside. I'm in outside the room. Sir, sir, sir. He is not bothering you. He's not bothering you. Stop. See, like I said, he's spicy. He's very spicy. Anyway, then I bought, as if the advent calendar wasn't enough, I bought the Lexiton set. It was on sale. We're traveling a lot next year. I told you I bring this with me. I love Lexiton. No, you can't get in the box and you can't get in my lap. Sir, he, he thinks he's a cat. He's in the box. Here, let me get my stuff out of it and then you can get in the box. Hold, hold it, move your phone. Y'all, I'm gonna leave this in here even though I know it's gonna annoy some of you. You gonna get all the way in? Okay, anyway, this comes with the almond oil, almond bath oil, the almond hand cream, the, um, uh, almond supple skin oil oil uh, the cleanser the immortel uh, moisturizer and um, fluid and the immortel oil which I love so another Lexiton hand cream and the deep moisture the deep moisture um, heavy heavy duty uh, lotion all of them I love all of them all of them. This is a great little set and they're small. They're small. You can see he won't stop. Hold on. Little dog. Little dog. You need to be quiet and I have to put you out because Buddy has to be watched constantly and you don't. So you go get comfy on the couch and mommy will come see you in a little bit. Go, go, go. Good boy. Good boy. You, I have to do that because you little stinker butt. You! Mommy loves you. Mommy loves little dog. As, I don't know. I have to put little dog out because Buddy has to be watched. Con He's rooting around in this other box now. <laughs> okay, so I was watching something on YouTube and you guys know I love my sparkly toppers for my eyeshadow. I am looking for the ultimate one. I always have been the Urban Decay Space Cowboy is a really good one. Um, Charlotte Tilbury has some really subtle ones. If you want subtle, it's a good one. Urban Decay uh, Space Cowboy is in your face. Um, some Tom Ford has some. Um, I'm trying to think of all the other brands that have them. I mean, there's a few that have them, but this one, this one was this one was special. This is the Fenty Beauty Highlighter. I do not wear highlighter on my face, but on my eyeballs, I will wear highlighter. The Joe one is a gold version of this, and this one is silver. Okay, as I was saying, let me let me do it this way. Look at this. Now it may it probably just looks white in the in there, but Look, it just, it's just glittery, but it's white glitter. My Joe one is, or it's silver glitter. My Joe one is gold glitter. This is like perfection. Perfection. So now I have a gold one and a silver one, and I am done with my search because I'm telling you, this amount, this will last you a lifetime. <laughs> um, it came with some free samples. Now, 
This is for my nails. These are Dashing Diva. Look at these two sets, how cute are they? Now, Dashing Diva tears up my nails. This is just for Christmas and maybe for the cruise coming up. I like this sparkly pink here. Uh, the cruise coming up on Virgin. I've been reading, not reading, watching videos on the best way to like remove this from your nails and how to do it without it damaging your nails. So we're gonna practice with this and then we're going to probably use this one minus the Rudolph things. I'll save those for next year for um, the cruise. We'll see, we'll see. I wanna see how long this lasts on my nails. So I will probably put this on the week of Christmas so not quite there yet okay now my manicurist order came in so manicurist ships everything very well packaged because it is um, nail polish so let me get it all open and then I will show you what I got yes sir y yes right. oh you're helping me again okay okay I ordered the green flash nail polish remover okay Nail polish remover, green flash. I have no idea if you can use regular nail polish remover. I've never tried, I just use their stuff. I did get some more of these nail clippy things. They clip on your nails with the cotton swab or whatever you're using with the polish remover soaked in. I got another set so I can do two hands at one time. This little pen was a free gift. It's got the little, no, I know it made noise, it's okay. It's got the little tips on the end of it and it soaks it with the polish remover so when you get it on your cuticles and stuff, you can get it off. I really like these. I never thought I would use one of these with, from this, but one came in an order and I've actually really used it. And then it comes with the extra tips. I really like it. This is a tool, a paintbrush um, for nail art nail art so that I can paint on my plaid that I, I think I told you about that in some blog. I don't know. I've edited so many different blogs at this point. I have no idea what I've actually told you and what I haven't. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. This is new. This is nail polish color refresher, quick dry shine enhancer. This is for the led polish, I think. So, um, yeah, I wanted to give that a try. It's just a polish. And then I picked up some colors and I knew I had done this. I knew I did I accident. Whoops. I accidentally put two of the same color in there. No, no, it's not. One is sparks and one is licorice. Okay. Licorice is just solid black, which I really like on my toes. I don't know why I like black on my toes. I don't know why, but this is solid black for my toes. And this is sparks, which is solid black with glitter in it. I like them both, um, so I wanted to make sure I had them for my toes. And this one is a navy blue, a deep, dark, night navy blue. Uh, my toes again, or my nails, or whatever. It's just a different polish that I didn't have. This one is a red, red velvet. Um, I have poppy, and I have another red. I forget the colors, but this is red velvet. It's just a different red. Um, I really, I'm enjoying the reds, and I think, um, oh yeah, just a nice Christmas red. So, there you go. You have to make sure these are really closed, nice and tight. And then this is another red, this is red hibiscus. This is more of a springy, like the poppy. It's more of a springy pink, oh no, this one has, I, I'm wrong, I, now I remember now. This one has the metallics through it. Red hibiscus metallics are going through it. Beautiful. And this is snow, correct? Yes. It is an opaque white polish. So I could do my, um, yeah, plaid. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so those are the colors I got. And uh, so we'll try these, the Dashing Diva. Of course, I'm going to polish my nails with my... Manicurist, I've been using this for, what, a year now, you think? About a year, maybe just under a year. I don't remember when I first got it. Got it. I really like the Manicurist. Um, I have found that if the polish from Manicurist, there's like two different viscosities or consistencies. Like one is quite viscous, quite, quite thick. Um, it depends upon the, the pigment, the color. 
um, they can get thick or they can be thin. The thinner ones tend to stay on my nails longer, better. Like this was a thinner red, the, this nail I chipped that had nothing to do with how long it stayed on and then I couldn't leave it alone. Um, the thinner the viscosity of these polishes, the longer they stay on my nails. And I don't know what that is, but that's the case for me. Um, the thicker ones tend to peel. The thicker ones tend to be like the burgundies and the browns. I, I don't know why, maybe it's something to do with the pigment that they use for those, but there you go. The black ones are thin, the navy ones are thin, you know, those, they, and they, they tend to stay on me longer. I don't remember when I put this on my nails. I think it's been over a week now. But also the glitter top coats, as with any nail polish brand, a glitter top coat is going to last it's going to make your nail polish last. I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> Maybe the little glitter fragments help. I don't know. So there you go. Uh, I showed you the hauls, and uh, I don't think there's anything else I needed to tell you or show you. Um, this top, uh, it's really cute. It's really, really cute. Uh, it's This is like a pipe cleaner, you know, but it's not super stiff. It's like flexible but it is pipe cleaner. I got this from Stitch Fix. I have been able to find them around the internet in a couple of places, so if I can find it again, I will link it for you. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not itchy on the inside unless you press. If you like press it, like so if you're wearing a jacket or something that gets tight, you know, snug to your body, and it's pressing against your skin, it is itchy. So I might suggest like an undershirt or something. It's quite thin anyway. So if you live somewhere it's cold and you need a coat, put an undershirt on anyway. So there you go. Um, let's see, what else was there? I've been wearing my Zella joggers almost nonstop. Oh, I told you I was gonna start a challenge here soon. I don't think I finished that. Um, my challenge is gonna be for 30 days, I want to walk every single day, Monday through Sunday, Every single day, I want to walk either on my treadmill or outside. We have not been consistent with Buddy's walks. Um, weather related or time restrictions, I've been working, Robert's been working, it's the holidays, it's crazy. He needs walks and my body needs, I think I just split my nail, my body needs the walks and works out, workouts. And I'm going to do my best going forward. I have said this the last two or three years. I really, really want to do yoga and Pilates, mild, light versions of them, nothing, nothing major. I just want my flexibility back and I want the, the strength in my core. Um, as you get older, I feel like core strength is important. Um, and my dear sweet mother-in-law, Rob's mom, once told me, when you stop moving, you stop living. And I think she was right. Um, you know, I have not been feeling the greatest these last couple of months and I haven't been running or walking. And I feel so much better when I give my body the physical release of exercise because that's what it is for me. It's a release, it feels so good. But not all exercise feels good to me. So, you know, I'm not looking to build big muscles or anything. I am looking to get my body healthy again and to feel good again. And that is my goal. Um, I'm gonna start with the walking every single day. It doesn't matter how much, the goal is 30 minutes, but if I get 15 minutes in, that's still 15 minutes that I didn't get in yesterday. So I'm good with that. So. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video if you're so inclined and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It is free and we will see you tomorrow. Happy holidays or have a holly jolly day. <laughs> Should we go get your brother now? Now that you've calmed down, mommy's all finished. Did you know that you're a cutie patootie? Yes, you know that. Yes.